Professor Chairman and colleague. I'm Dr. Chang from Respiratory Center in Baekmai Hospital. Today, I'm very happy to be here to present a case study of a severe rapidly progressive DMILD. And then I would like to have a brief review about options for therapeutics agents. There was a 46 year old female with progressive dyspnea. She had no special past medical history, including exposure. In February this year, she had peripheral symmetric polyarthritis and renal syndrome. And at that time, she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and she didn't remember treatment. And then in July this year, she had skin rash and polyarthritis and she was diagnosed with suspected CTD and treated with Medrol 16 milligram per day and hydroxychloroquine at uh, the dose of 200 milligram per day. But uh, she just used those drugs in two weeks. And then uh, in September this year, she, had, she started to have shortness of breath and it gradually increased. On uh, 12 September, she admitted to the uh, emergency department with severe respiratory failure. She required oxygen at the dose of uh, uh, 15 liters per minute and dry cough, skin rash, polyarthritis, but no fever, no edema. And uh, when listened to her lung, we can find be uh, basal fractures. It is the skin rash uh, on her hands and elbows. And it is the V sign on her neck and uh, her back. She had the chest HRCT on uh, 11th of September. It showed mainly bilateral brow rust, attenuation, and consolidation. Those suggest AIP pattern on the uh, HRCT. This is a uh, chest X-ray compared between the 17th September and 27th September. And when uh, ordering the antibodies for her, we can find that anti-DMA5 positive, anti-BL7 positive, BL12 positive, and some other uh, antibodies positive. The uh, infectious uh, marker as a procalcitonin is uh, negative. All the microbial tests were negative at that time. She was diagnosed uh, respiratory failure, severe rapidly progressive DM IOD with antisensitized syndrome. And she was treated with pounds glucocorticoid steroid therapy with solomero 100, uh, 1,000 milligram per day in three days, and then uh, dropped to 18, 18 milligram per day, uh, uh, combined with MMF two gram per day for five days. And then uh, I increased to the dose of three gram per day. She also has uh, antibiotic and PPI, enoxaparin and uh, Pumor rehab. During two weeks after the first palm therapy, she improved in both clinical dog condition and chest x-rays. But after that, she uh, started to have progressive respiratory failure. We have to uh, increase the FeO2 from 60% to 100%, but she still had no infection evidence. And then uh, we add on cyclophosphamide and uh, itraconazole, but uh, unfortunately, she did not have any improvement and she passed away. So for the uh, management of uh, IM, ILD, we didn't have RCTs for this uh, field. So all the management for this disease is guided by uncontrolled retrospective series and expert opinion. And also the nature and severity of IOD varies between uh, different type of uh, uh, IM IOD. For example, PM IOD responds to conventional treatment better than DM IOD and anti-MDA5 
positive is a, a risk factor for poor prognosis and mortality. And uh, we have a algorithm for diagnosis and evaluation and uh, management for IM, IOD, like uh, you can see in the slide. So for the rapid progressive IOD, they suggest using high dose uh, corticosteroid uh, in combined with uh, IV, CIC, and CNIs. Corticosteroid is um, uh, early to obtain improvement in the symptoms. And so for severe form of IOD, we usually use pump therapy for the patient and it's particularly effective for AIP and SIP or OP. Uh, but uh, we have to combine pump therapy with an another immunosuppressant for this type of IOD. Uh, we usually use cyclosporphamide for uh, organ threatening CTD man and, uh, manifestation, including IOD, but uh, it only have efficacy in around one third of cases. And uh, the intravenous form may be safer than the oral form. Some other immunosuppressants like uh, MMF or AZA or uh, metorexate can be used for maintenance therapy. CNI or considering inhibitors, including tacorimus or cyclosporin A can be used. And many retrospective studies suggest that they have efficacy in treating IM and IOD, but uh, renal and vascular toxicity is the uh, concern. Rituximab is the rescue agent, but uh, we didn't have a good uh, RCT to uh, prove the efficacy of rituximab, and it is very expensive, especially in Vietnam. IPIG is uh, only uh, anecdotal data supporting for it, so we have to uh, do more studies before considering it as a treatment, and it is also expensive. So for the conclusion, DMIOD, especially rapid progressive form, it remains a major challenge in diagnosing and treatment with poor diagnosis and high mortality, and a reasonable approach for severe rapidly progressive DMIOD includes panscrucal corticosteroid therapy with metoprednisone 1,000 mg per day in three days, uh, as um, we have to uh, combine with a strong, rapidly effective immunosuppressant like uh, cyclosporphamide and we can consider combined with IVIG in some particular circumstances. Thank you very much for your listening.